name is Chikabi, David Sande. I'm the ICT manager for judiciary. Judiciary is where we have uh, judges and magistrates. It's the third arm of government in addition to parliament and the uh, executive. First and foremost, Ben and Grace, Ben is away. We thank you very much for those achievements as a country. Hope you had our flag. Please, we thank you for making our flag fly high. While we were in school over 20 years ago, my ambition mainly was, how am I different from others? How am I different from others? Through that ambition, I did quite a number of things also. Simple, the simplest was in class. I was in a mathematics class, HSC. So as they say, do eight numbers. Where to be the best, where to, to compete and see who is the best. So on top of being the best, you also have to display skills. Out of 15 numbers, one up to 15, we said, okay, you are the best, but how have you done them? So also developed methods that you have to do in a sequence, number one, two, three, four, five, eight, and you stop. No matter whether 15 is the cheapest. So being best in class, we also had new ideas. Let's begin from one up to eight, to show or create a difference from the others. While you are in society still also in the world, how are you different from the others? We thank you very much, Ben and Grace. Ben is not here. We are all in school, or we've left school. How are you different from the others? The innovations that they've, been, they've, they've, they've described for us call for a lot of time to be embedded. Today, we hear universities striking. Some of us wonder, where do you get the time to strike? Where do you get the time to be free? We get the point. For us, we are the first people to do computer science in this country. But we used to spend a lot of time in the labs. The labs were only four, for those who have been at Macquarie University, the old lab, the old site. Only four computers. So once you came in in the morning, as soon as you leave the computer, someone else comes in. Therefore, you have to sit there. Even going for short call, at times it was not possible. But we really wonder, where do you get time to be free with such innovations? Hope the topic we're having today will make us occupied to think higher and higher for greater things. Thank you very much. Hope you carry our flag wherever you go. Uh, I received an invitation to be at this training for the two days. The invitation says, the focus is to train trainers who will act as change agents to encourage youth and women to become entrepreneurs and develop scalable, innovative business solutions. That means we are trained to be trainers. That's the very first task that we have. Me and you, we are being trained by this country to be trainers to others. We thank very much the organizers for this opportunity. For us, in the past, training used to cost money. We had to pay to get training. But for you these days, the training is free. But still, people don't attend it. Ours was a cost. Therefore, the knowledge we got while we were training really was valid because we spent money for it. For you, you are getting free training. That's why you don't value it. But the task before us, all of us, is to, to be trainers to others and to act as change agents to encourage youth and women to become entrepreneurs and develop scalable 
innovative business solutions. So this country is growing us into a group of trainers. So wherever we go, we fly as trainers. We're supposed to train others to take on innovations. Thank you very much, the organizers, Minister of ICT, NITA, RUN, RUN Lab, uh, Technospark for this training that we're achieving on your behalf. Thank you very much. Uh, we had uh, me from the jello sector. The task away from training as a trainer was also to, to expose you to business opportunities where innovation can be applied. That's why I'm here, in that particular sector. Justice, law, and order sector. Now, justice, law, and order sector has a total of 17 institutions. Now, these are institutions that do administration of justice, maintain law and order, as well as promoting the observance of human rights. So those three functions are done by those institutions can display or can ring to your mind what institutions these are. Yeah. Police, police is one of them, your colleague. Yeah. Minister of Justice for Law, Tax Appeals Tribunal, Judicial Service Commission, Minister of Gender, where we have a remand, Naguri Mand Home, the Government Analytical Laboratory, your neighbors at Wandegea, Human Rights Commission, Directorate of Public Prosecution, DPP, Uganda Police, uh, Uganda Prison Service, Judiciary, to which I belong personally, the DPP, Directorate of Citizenship and Immigration Control, Ministry of Internal Affairs, Ministry of Local Government, Uganda Registration Service Bureau, Uganda Law Society, and Uganda Law Reform Commission. Those are the 17 institutions that make up the yellow sector. Uh, what is innovation? We thought we would begin some description or a definition of what innovation is, but it all rings around a new idea. You've had Ben and Grace. Those are ideas that have never been thought of. They are new. You, you, you will not call Grace's pedal tap if you also did the same, a new innovation, a new, a new idea. The other is, uh, what is ICT innovation? We are seeing the theme, digital entrepreneurship training for ICT innovations. That's why I thought it was uh, crucial to, to define also this, which is a subclass of innovations which embeds computational solutions and artifacts into innovation space. Computational solutions and artifacts. Those are the words to underscore. Computational use of computers, and, and then at facts, looking at human beings. Uh, we have a number of programs. We are given a, a schedule or a sketch to follow. We have a number of programs. The major pro one of the major programs is uh, enhanced public access to jealous services, particularly for vulnerable persons. That's a program. The other program we have is improved public trust in the yellow sector institutions. So when we receive our ratings uh, that we are corrupt, that means our public trust is declining. But one of the major programs to ensure that our public trust is raised up. The other is uh, enhance yellow institutional capacity, strengthen policy, regulations, legislative and regulatory framework, as well as promote observance of human rights. Now, in each of these uh, major programs, we have ICT initiatives or activities. We have uh, the court case administration system that enhance, enhance public access to jail services, particularly for vulnerable persons. Now, the case management system, how our cases, you've seen most of these institutions deal in um, Dealing in cases when you commit an offense, then you face 
these institutions. If you are very obedient, you, you, you may never go to some of these. But wherever you commit an offense, then you face the institutions. Uh, so we deal in cases. That's why our very first initiatives, how do we manage those cases? So we use systems called uh, the case management system. We also use uh, video conferencing systems. How do we hear cases for people who are far away from, 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 from Uganda here or from any destination? The other is electronic display boards. Uh, if you moved, but you've never been to our courts. That's the thing. You people have never seen courts. But uh, let's pray one day you come there. Uh, not as a suspect, but as a, as, 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 as say a witness or a, a researcher also. So we use uh, electronic display boards. These are uh, like the airport display, which plane is going where. So we also use them to show which case is in which uh, courtroom and which judge is handling that particular case. The other are systems like court recording and transcription. We have witness protection systems where a witness may not like to appear in the live court, so we protect that witness using those systems. The other closed circuit CCTV cameras still for, for benefits that you will see later on. The other are SMSs. If you have a case, you can use your phone to, to tell uh, the progress of your case. The other for police, that's judiciary. Now police, your Uganda police force, has uh, systems like the criminal records management information systems, which is at system development, so some of us can, can join. The other is, in the prison, is the prison's management information system. It's a web-based, it's, it's also under development. The other is uh, prosecution, this is in the DPP's office now. Prosecution, case management information system, Procamis. Now this is under development also, it's about to be, to be launched. Now we have areas, major programs of uh, the grey ones, down enhanced judicial institutional capacity. Now these are grey areas for innovations. Enhanced jealous institutional capacity. So things like e-learning are looked at in that area. The other grey is uh, strength and Policy, legislative, and regulatory framework is also a great area for us to innovate into. Then promote observance of human rights and accountability. That's also another great area. Major agency relationships, all the 17 are not here, but we've captured the, the major. The major is the public, yourselves, we have the police that arrests you when you commit offenses. We have the government analytical laboratory where tests are done. The other is uh, DPP who prosecutes on behalf of government. Then we have the courts of law. This is where I work. We have the prisons. Now, all our other areas of innovation will send along here. You've been uh, to police, some of us, or some of you. You see how everything is done in police. We believe if you visited it and you observed what goes on, those are areas of innovation. The other is uh, the analytical laboratory still, a visit to there. Uh, these are government analytical laboratory where we car uh, where they cut out tests. Uh, for example, the parents, this is my child, this is not yours, so you go for DNA, that's where they are done. Learn uh, medical, other medical tests, what did you die of, that's where it's done. You, you know where it is in, uh, in Wandega. The other is uh, DPP, when you commit an offense, police arrests you, then uh, it makes a file. That file is sent to DPP. Now, DPP peruses it to establish whether you really have a case to answer. And then after that case is, is perused by DPP, if you have a case to answer, then you are sent to the courts. So here you meet the judges. And the judges will also decide if you are found guilty. Guilty means if you committed the offense, 
he will be taken to prison. And then, if not, then you go back to the public. Now, these are all areas of innovation. We've had the public outcry. Our cases stay long in the courts. My case went fast, went to court fast. Why is it being not heard, yet those recent ones are being heard? My files got lost while in the courts. So those are all areas of innovation. The other is uh, prisons. You've had people who have been in prison or remand for a very long time while they are in prison. So you may still innovate along these lines. How do we try to monitor? How do we keep track of the people sent to, to the prisons? And then also the public where Ben and Grace are getting most of their themes for innovations. So this is how, these are the major agencies in the jail sector. The, the other, okay, the other is about law and all that, but these are the main players. Now what happens, we, we've, uh, police arrests you to DPP. If you have a case to answer, you go to courts. Courts convict you, you come to prisons. You serve your sentence, then you go back to the public. So you, you, you can see that where does this kick start, the entire process? It's kick started at the police. As you move out of this room, police will arrest one of us as either a defiler or a raper or a thief. So while you are the police, they will take your particulars. When you go to DPP, still you also have a system. The same person is being referred to whose particulars we have got here. So a file here to DPP. So there's no need of putting some fields that already captured this side. DPP Peluses, do you, need, do you have a case? Yes. The same person who was arrested here, same particulars and age, is moved, enters the court system. Now the judges hear your case and then decide if you go to prisons. Now the same person is traversing all this route. Now while you're in prison here, or while you are still in the courts, prison should prepare for you. Ben and Grace are coming today. Therefore, the prison authorities should prepare two extra beds, where one is a male, then the other is a female. Now, as the bus comes from prison, some of those people are, are let free. Therefore, prisons should be notified that out of the 10 people we took, four are not coming back. So you can use your beds, their beds, for Grace and Ben. As you serve your sentence, and you are let back to the public, the public should keep track of you, who oh, at one time you appeared in the courts, at one time you were in prison. So one area of innovation is a system that looks at the entire cycle. Now at each of these uh, entities, th there are reports and decisions that need to be made. Police arrest people. When it takes to DPP to peruse files, out of 100 people arrested, 100 files brought in, 40 merit as cases to go to court. The 60 are pushed back. Now, that shows there is a training gap that DPP needs to do to the police to, ex to explain what constitutes a case. We get it. So when you develop this entire system, decisions can be made on which actions to take at each of the outputs and inputs of, at the different stages. We get the logic. Now that's a very gray area as we shall see that innovation can take on. Areas for potential innovation, 
Uh, one is uh, filing of cases. We have uh, a law firm here. Some cases come to the courts through law firms. You, you've heard the lawyers. So what do the, firm, the law firms do? They, they, they carry their paper files to the courts. Now, as they go to the courts, they meet the court staff who receive those files for further processing. So one area of innovation is uh, electronic filing. Why should the law firm carry these files physically and engage with the court staff? So there is an area of exchange of any type of commodity along those lines. So through your innovation, electronic filing could be one of them to curb some of these. You've had files getting lost as well as exchange of any types of commodity for work to proceed. So that's a possible area. The other problems, opportunities for ICT innovation is information and records management. We've seen our cycle through the chat. Innovation are done at each of those institutions can help us generate information as well as records for use. Once the case management system, each of these uh, institutions, these people have a criminal records management information system. These ones are, have a practitioner's management, case management information system. We also have a case management system in the courts. But to what level, to what extent do they serve the purpose? So an inquiry into the operations could also work. In preparation for, for now you integrating all these into one system for government. Uh, the other is uh, automatic allocation of cases. Y you've had uh, complaints from the public. This case is allocated to this person. Uh, and obviously the cry is, what, what result do we expect? So with the automatic allocation of those cases, really some of those perceptions from the public can be solved. The system does it on its own by comparing how many eligible judges and who has the least, the least, uh, the least work. But at the moment, it's done manually. So that's why those complaints are coming in. But so that's uh, an area. The other area is uh, queue management. As we schedule cases for hearing today, we need to know which case are we hearing first. But then this will depend on which parties are ready. We get the logic. The logic is uh, you're hearing 10 cases today. You call for a case, where are the parties? They are not around. Where are the parties? They are not around. But you are calling one, two, three, but case 10 already has its parties here. Therefore, why don't we begin with those who are ready? So the queue management will help you. Once a case for hearing that day has all parties around, they can register it. So what the judge will see is the queue of who are ready, other than calling those who are not in. The other is uh, performance measurement. Eh? A performance enhancement system is also another area of, uh, of innovation. How do you measure performance of the judicial officers, the judges? For example, how do you measure performance of your lecturers at school? Huh? I don't know whether you did these cut out evaluations. Please evaluate your, your lecturer. Uh, but, but these days we hear reports, the best lecturer is the one who revises the questions for the exam. So he is the best. Now the one who gives you hard work so that you sit in the library to read is rated the rest. So now your, your, your rating of lecturers also 
at the moment is not is not there. So a system of how to rate putting that into consideration for your electorals is also another area for innovation. But for us in the courts, yes, we, 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 we handle cases. Uh, one judge can handle one case for a year. The sophisticated ones, eh? the, 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 the Chadondo rugby bombing, where we had the, so many witnesses, some are coming from abroad and uh, speaking different languages. So that one judge handles, handled that one case for a given period. And then there are also some small ones. So the performance management system we hope to, to look at, or you can innovate, is the one that puts all those considerations into play. You handle 50 cases, but what's the magnitude? One handles one, but for a long period. So the complexity of each of those cases is also another area. The other area of uh, innovation is uh, how to access Lego materials. So e-learning in our sector of JELOS is one area that uh, is ready for innovations. The other grown is the integrated justice management information system. Now this is the one that combines all of these integrated justice management information system, bringing all these major players into play is also a free area for innovation for those who are looking for areas to innovate. Uh, we also asked to talk about challenges, first in seeking collaboration with the private sector and innovators. We in government, why aren't we taking the private sector and the innovators on to do our government work? Why? So one of them we looked at is the procurement law, the process, and the players. So knowledge of this law, most of our uh, private sector players, including the, including the innovators, are very ignorant about this law. So you need to read it, because we can't uh, engage you unless we've gone through the procurement process. We can't engage Ben. That's why he was requested to register his company. So if you also have a small one, you should register it and then be very conversant with this act. Uh, it's knowledge, the knowledge of the act, as well as knowledge of the, the bidding process. What do you have to do? It's all described within that law. The, the, the biggest thing is we scientists, plus the, these days also the, the social scientists, uh, we don't mind about packaging ourselves. We only look at what can I do. If, if I can do the thing, I don't, even if I don't bathe, it doesn't matter. So you need to know the law and then the processes of that law. So that's one challenge, knowledge of the law. The other is lack of knowledge and skills, poor quality product, if any, eh, you, you will engage. So as you engage the innovator, what comes out is usually poor quality, if at all, it comes out. So let's look at quality of any product in case you had put it out on the market. Quality matters for us. The other is lack of commitment <laughs> and enthusiasm to work. You, you've heard Ben and Grace, how committed they are. Uh, Grace arriving today morning, but he says, I have an engagement, I have to go. Uh, yesterday, the session was beginning at nine. For us, we were in at nine, but, but we saw innovators coming in at 10. So that's where you get it wrong, right away from this. You are not committed to work. So we in government, we look at your commitment to work. 
and then enthusiasm to learn. You had uh, Grace telling you, she studied this, she studied this, she studied this. All those combined make who she is. So if you did your one, one, one degree and you think, yes, I'm ready as an innovator, there are so many aspects that come in. The, 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 the presentations we had yesterday, yeah? uh, was it Roy who talked about uh, Brian? Who talked about, he did the business. Yeah? We're very happy. That's why you see four is business leadership and management. As you try to innovate, these skills have to come in so that you handle your innovation in a business-like environment. If you're an innovator and you can't meet timelines, then you are not really there. You can't work for government. That's why most, most people, if I told you are serious and you are to work for government, you spend sleepless nights. I looked at Ben and he was almost sleeping. Eh? Ben, while we were away, we thanked you for raising our flag very high. We thank you very much. Keep it up. So there's a lot of commitment. We've seen uh, innovators today who have a lot of time to go to dance. When you check the library, it's empty. Eh? Innovators who don't attend the labs, but they are very good at, at other things. So there is a lot of devotion of time to the product you are doing. This is new. It's a new product. It means you can't copy from anywhere. It's you to drive the idea. You know where you want to go. So unless you are committed and enthusiastic to look at some of these things, you'll find it hard in government to do work. The other is a poor remuneration for government innovators. Yeah. I, I, I moved with my two, two of my staff. One is uh, Joseph Senablia, he will wave to you. He's our computer programmer in the judiciary. The other is uh, Derek, he's our innovator within our institution. But we usually share and he says, but, but the remuneration is very, is not the best. We say, yes, leave the pay alone. Let's move and make new ideas for this country. But cries are to, to, to government. That's why they are bringing in pay rise for, for scientists. So we request that as we innovate also, think of ways of joining government as our pay will also be, be there. So let no pay really put you out of innovation or little commitment, little financial stance. Continue with the innovation. The, the other is uh, continuity. Uh, continuity. We, we are usually asked, why don't we use free and open source software for most of our products? We have students from Makiriri, please from universities, let them come in and take on some of these things. But, but uh, usually the answer we give, yes, you'll get them as they're doing their final year projects. After their final year projects, they will disappear. Yeah. So then we've had businesses yeah, which live for only less than two years. They rarely live to see their second birthday. So let's try that as uh, Ben registered his company, it lives for quite some time. Then we shall have confidence in it that we shall give it money. As we bring in innovations, systems that will innovate for us in government, we look at the maintenance areas. For how long have you been in business? Are you likely to survive for the next 10 years? So those are some of the, the things we look at. So those are the areas that I was asked to, to talk about. We've seen the potential areas for innovation within the jello sector, combining all those institutions. And then the challenges, why we don't want to take on innovators. But then as I'm attending this session, uh, training of trainers, I'm now a trainer also. So I'll try to see that I preach also that no, our innovators, all the group to which I belong, 
does not have these problems, we are very good, good people, and we shall live to that. Then one, uh, one other area for, for, for thought is also, is also farms, innovation farms for innovators. You may not stand on your own, but if you joined farms that are carrying out innovator, innovations, you'll have a, a wide, a wide uh, voice for your speech. So uh, as you join a farm which is already established, you should also be conversant with uh, the environment in the farm you're joining. You are likely to do the donkey work till when you establish your source also. You, you call uh, people like Wede, Wede, Brian, I thought uh, I would see Wede also. He has a farm which would take on most of you. So maybe that's another area that uh, we should have called those already established farms. Some of them would have even recruited some of our innovators into them. I think that's uh, the little I can share with you, but I also join you as a trainer I'm also training to be a trainer. I know government has hopes and confidence in us as we are here to drive the ICT innovations ahead in this country. We should be ambassadors wherever, wherever we go. Thank you very much. That uh, ends my presentation. Thank you.